Hi, welcome back to the shop and welcome to another live stream here at EP3, EP3D Studios. At least I hope we're live. I'm starting the show solo this afternoon. My producer wife, she'll be here, but she's finishing her work currently. She does, she, she works from home and she's in a meeting and it's going a little longer. It's a late meeting, so, but it's an important one and she can't skip it. So as soon as she is done, she will be joining us. So you have me, one camera, and uh, about half of the capability, probably less than half of the capability of our crew here. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's uh, hang out for a minute, let some people pile in. Uh, I see Kyle Boaz, how's it going, bud? And Baron, great to see you, thanks for joining. And Drew, <laughs> you're online and good to go. Well, yeah, I'm online and good to go. Thank you, Drew. Ah, <sighs> man. Um, I don't normally start these things solo, so it's weird because uh, there's a weird delay with the video. So I'm like looking like, well, it's not up yet. Like, what's going on? You guys are probably looking at me like I'm crazy. So, but, um, <laughs> oh no, Drew's here too. Hi, Drew. Yes, Baron Drew is here. Uh, I, I was made sure to remind him of the stream about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Andy. Hi, Matt. Hi, Andy. Welcome to the show. I don't think I've seen you here before. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Andy. Good to see you here. Uh, if you're a newcomer, uh, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, if you've been here before and I don't remember you, I am sorry, but welcome anyway. Um, what we're going to get into today is this uh, more of the Sidewinder X2 Clipper configuration stuff more this is more slicer tuning for pressure advance um, same thing as linear advance and marlin they just call it pressure advance in in uh clipper and pressure advance is definitely a more appropriate thing to call it as far as how it works uh you have under andy with see you have under andy w from uk ah okay well, welcome again, anyway. Um, uh, yes, where was, oh yes, pressure advance. So, essentially, if, if you're not familiar with pressure advance, linear advance, what it does is it, it decreases flow or decreases pressure in the nozzle around corners. So you have nice, uh, sharp corners or nice even corners. If you print like a calibration cube and you don't have pressure advance on, you'll see that the corners of things kind of bulge out. So, I uh, see Baron at Drew, the only, only that, lol, only that I'm not the only regular here. Yes, Baron, you are not the only regular here. Um, oh, I think she's, she's coming out. I'm off the hook. Whoa. Whoa. You're wearing blue. I'm changing it up today. I hope it's not too bright. I didn't adjust the camera settings or anything like that. So. Uh, I, I hope, like, I, I guess you mentioned, yes, I'm wearing blue. I hope it's not too bright. Uh, Sorry, everybody. I have a work meeting and he changes everything up on me. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, welcome, producer wife Emily. Say hello. Hello. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm producer wife Emily. Emily, wife in chief. Wife in chief, yeah. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I could change the logo. We're setting her up with her, her logo and stuff like that for her channel. Not to add content, just to be another voice. Where'd she go? Whatever. Okay. New year, new mat. Yes, Kyle. New year, new mat. Uh, no, I just, I've been wearing the same colored shirts for like the last, I don't know, half a dozen streams or so. So I thought, eh, something different. Consistency is key. Some of us don't like change. <laughs> change Obviously. is bad. You ever read that book, Who Moved My Cheese? You know, that one's been suggested to me before, and I don't one. know why, but the change of having to read a new book is really stressful, oh, so... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. If any of you have ever read that book, um, you'll get the joke. You have your water today? Mm -hmm. Look at you. I should, right. I should have work meetings more often. <laughs> True. Thank goodness you're here. It was madness without you. Thank you, Drew. I try. Mm -hmm. Just wanted you all to experience the non-Emily right. version of live streams so that you could appreciate the Emily version even more. All right. I wonder if we'll get mad if I close this now. I don't know. It's here. 
Does it show you the in stream button like it's actually working? Mm -hmm. We're seeing the same thing. Okay, I'm going to close this and she could take over. <laughs> Hope it all goes well. Well, are we still live? Kyle, you're asking for too much. Kyle says he's all grown up. <laughs> no way. <laughs> never. I'll never let it happen. He says cow and water all set up. <laughs> uh, Where's my little note card? You have your notepad. What'd you do with my note card? I don't know. Is it in the drawer? I don't know. What'd you do with it? I see your pen. I don't know. <gasps> you disappeared my notepad. You have a pen and a notepad right there. You'll be no, okay. No, I need my notepad. Does it Change. really? Oh my you moved my cheese. <laughs> we only have an hour. Well, my note card has all my info on it. Oh my goodness. Carry on. I see it right there. I see a card right there next to your pen. Haha. -ha. Thank you. Okay, so to get back to pressure advance. So what this is doing is is this the extruder, yes, it's extruding a, a certain millimeters per whatever of filament, but really its job is to maintain a certain amount of pressure, liquid plastic pressure at the end of the nozzle. And that pressure is going to determine how wide or how much, you know, your actual geometry of your extrusion as it's laying down plastic. So obviously the faster the thing's moving, it needs to maintain that same amount of pressure, so it's gotta move more filament. But when it comes to a corner and has to slow down, that pressure's gotta go somewhere and it's gonna come out of the nozzle as it slows down. So what the pressure advance does is it will actually slow down the extrusion rate and in some cases even retract a little bit. Um, especially for Bowden tube setups, you'll see that. Um, it kind of works like, think of it as a plastic blow-off valve. <laughs> it slows down and it doesn't need all that pressure, so it lets it go the, not through the nozzle, but somewhere else, right? Um, <laughs> for your engine turbo guys, right? That's, that's kind of how I see it, and that's how it works, to maintain a very specific amount of pressure. So Drew very much needs a um, turbocharger on his Honda Civic there? He does need a turbocharger on it. Well, he does. He's got that Hamera, or not the Hamera, the, um, yeah. Yeah, he's got a, an E3D Hamera on his, on his Honda oh. Civic, so. Uh-oh. Well, so first of all, Ray says he may not be here long because his connection's acting up today. Oh, no. Rusty Shackleford's hanging out with us today. He says, howdy. Rusty Shackleford, howdy. How are you doing, man? Unfortunately, he's at home with COVID, so he can oh. finally tune in early. We hope you feel better oh, soon. No, that's not a good excuse to come to the show. But welcome. Or I see that's a better way to word that. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not a, I wouldn't say excuse. That's not a. That's I wouldn't not a say that's excuse. the best reason to be here. Um, but welcome. Thank you for showing up anyway, even though you're not feeling. Next time, great. You, next time you come by, Rusty, you have a better excuse. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't word good. Jeez. Wow. I'm gonna uh, get a lot Drew of wants to know if you have the photo of his printer on blocks. I don't have the photo of your printer. You have the photo of your printer on blocks. Drew has a see Drew. I'm looking at Drew yes, through this glass circle. Yes, but he wants circle. to know if you have it. Like clearly, he would have it. Uh oh, you sent it to me on Facebook, huh? Um, yeah, we'll look. We could look at that. Uh, are you wanting me to show the people? Is that what's going on, Drew? I'm confused. It's been a yeah, week. Kyle. You 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 totally um, you jinxed him. He said you were all grown up and <laughs> oof. Nope. <laughs> nope. Rusty Shackleford says, I'll work on my excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, pressure advance. Yes, Kyle spoke too soon. No. Well, yeah, he always speaks too soon, especially when it comes to me being grown up. Oh, he says it was all in jest about the Honda. I legitimately want you to take pictures of it up on cinder blocks. And... Oh. <laughs> That'd be great. That would be good. Just get a couple of... Oh. A couple of rims just hanging out on the side. And... I bet you can go to a hobby store and find some, like, miniature cinder blocks. <laughs> Make feet for your printer that are just miniature cinder blocks. It'd be kind of fun. And print some, print some rims in, like, rusty red and just set them on the side. Oh, man. 
you know. Door handles taken off, mm -hmm. stereo ripped out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be great. That would be great. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's get this party started. Mm. I'm here. We can start the party. <clears throat> oh boy, yeah. Okay. So for this, we are going to be using Orca Slicer. Um, if you don't have Orca Slicer, get it. It's it's worth the conversion. It is really, really, really good. Um, and it doesn't take that long to learn. And there's tons of information on on the internets about it. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to come over into Orca Slicer and we're going to get this started. She's reading something. And parent says, under pressure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Drew says, so I know that for the last few weeks I've been bugging Matt about sending me some files. Well, he sent me files and then a lot's continued to help me out. Yeah. I've called them on the phone a few times to help them out with some stuff. I know. We came home from the store and actually walked in on it. Like, you two were just chatting away about printers and stuff. It was weird. You're, she's not used to me being on the phone with people. You don't even call me. No. Drew, you have a special place. Oh, whatever. You're easier just to text. <laughs> mm, my weird and crazy doesn't come out as bad in text, huh? No. <laughs> he says huge shout out for helping me out no problem i know Thank i give you. him a hard i know i give you a hard time matt you are a wealth of knowledge and a, and i direct a lot of people to your site thank oh, you so much thank you so much drew we really appreciate that that is amazing i think it's a two-way street yeah yeah no way you could have done clipper without drew that first no way through. no way we wouldn't have got through that first bit without you man so we owe you really that's how it goes so Heading over to the computer screen here, and we are in Orca Slicer, and it's nice because it does all the scripts and stuff for you that you'd normally have to do for this. Um, so I've already got my printer selected and my filament, and I've got pressure advance turned off currently, um, which is just under your filament settings, and there's a tick box here if you want to turn it on and you just put in a number. Um, and that number is, I think it's time before hitting the corner when to start its retraction or whatever it is so but uh, on the top here in orca slicer you have calibration and we're going to hit pressure advance and it's um, a good idea to tune your flow before doing this and your input shaping before doing this because that could affect this um, and there's several ways to do this you have a tower a line or a pattern um, the pattern works it's very fast um, but it's not quite as, as accurate. Like you could use it as a good starting point, um, if you wanted to, but today, or sorry, the pattern, um, but the tower is a better, more, um, you could visualize it a little better with the tower. So we're going to go with that. And it's going to start at zero and end at 0 0.1. And that's good for a direct drive. Um, and we're going to click okay. And it's going to automatically generate this piece of geometry and it already has the scripts and stuff like that in the g-code and the cool thing is is that we're going to get our pressure advance number directly out of the g-code when we know at what height it looks the best so we're just going to slice this and get it started because it's a it's a 30 minute print so that's going to be going baron says matt's good like that also big thanks for the help as well of course baron no problem it's been fun helping you guys. I like helping you guys. So there we go. Now we're heating up. So we have a half an hour to kind of chit chat. This is going to be a, a little bit of a chat session while this goes. And you guys, any questions you guys have, relay my way. Um, there is one. There's one thing I do have to talk about, or not have to talk about. I would like to talk about. That's a little bit off topic. Is this an appropriate time? Okay, so it's your show, man. It is no, it's our show. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a viewer and friend of the channel, uh, his name is Dale Lucid. Um, he he has his own channel. He does he does good. He does har like Harbor Freight stuff. So I like Harbor Freight tools, and so his channel resonates with me. But uh, he has been a longtime follower and friend of the channel, 
and he had a family members uh, family members lose their house in a fire, and um, there's some issues with the insurance and. Long story short, they've lost everything, and they've been couch surfing for a while. So they started a GoFundMe, and I left a link for that in the video description. Um, so if you want to go and, and help out, it's up to you guys, but uh, it's there. Um, but big shout out for Dale. Hopefully your family is doing good. Um, no, we, we know times are tough. Yeah. Um, we know that we're all struggling. Uh, I'm putting it in the chat as well here. Oh, if you got it. Okay. Let me. Um, well, that's weird. Why won't it let me? Oh, it's too long. Okay, it's got to be the video description. It's okay. Yeah. Seventeen characters too long. Ha! Um, but we know that we know the times are tough. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, it's a, it's a really sweet couple. Yeah. He told a story about how you know he just spent summers there as a kid and how. Um, yeah. You know, it sounds like they're just they're just really great people who take care of their community. They're great people who take care of their family. And just really awful situation. It was super cold outside. Listening to the story, it was it was super cold out during that cold snap. Yeah. They started a fire to try to keep things warm. He went outside to grab more wood, and they saw smoke coming from the top of the roof. And unfortunately, with it being so cold, all of the the pipes, the hoses, everything was yeah, was the frozen. Yeah, froze, and they couldn't. They had just enough time to grab phones they had time to grab their wallets you know just a few small memorabilia and and get out luckily nobody was hurt but uh, it sounds like uh, they lost everything so yeah if you can if it's if it's within within your abilities if it's within reasons please feel free to visit that page and and any little help you can do i know we are definitely definitely gonna see what we can do as well because yeah. Those kinds of situations, any little bit, any, any little, little bit, bit helps. helps. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, changing the subject a little bit. Somebody who may know a little bit more than us. Ed's here. He says hi, everybody. Hey. It's Ed, the old tech guy, and Ed he says sourdough guy. bread. Sourdough bread. That's downstairs. <laughs> if you don't Drew know, says sourdough bread. Yeah. Uh, if any of you don't know Ed, the old tech guy, he's a celebrity around here. Uh, he also does. Um, he does a great channel. He does uh, tools, tech, DIY, deals, stuff like that. Great channel, great live streams. Um, just great personality overall. Just a really, really good guy. Um, he, he uploaded a short this morning of, of his wife making really, good, really tasty uh, carne asada. It was, it was a, yeah. Yes, Ed, your your secret, what is it, 20, 29 secret herbs and spices. 23 secret herbs and spices. You're not, you're not uh, KFC there. You, got, you can't keep that secret. You got to share that recipe. <laughs> right, it looks so good. <laughs> Uh, what's funny is we're actually making carne asada tonight because we've had some carne asada in a marinade for a couple of days. So it's kind I'm of... I'm sure it's not right. It's... I'm sure it's fine. not right. It'll be delicious. Okay, you're making it. It's fine. It's, sure it's not right. I, it, it, it may not get the stamp of approval from Andeal Tech Guy because it may not be totally authentic Mexican, but it's the best we could find around here. It's, I made it. What do you mean it's the best we can find around here? <laughs> Goodness. Dang it. <laughs> she saw through my ruse. Oh, also, uh, I want to show you, Ed... While you're grabbing that, Baron says 404 on Dale's YouTube link in the description and says, yep. mmm, stew. Mmm. Uh, we talked about this, I think, last week, doing a yep. 3D print of his logo, and I did that, and it turned out pretty darn good. I will say so myself. Uh, I think it looks pretty decent, and this is going to be in the mail on the way to you, Ed, plus a couple other things tomorrow. So Tomorrow? Okay. What? Okay. What? Looks like I'm going to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know what she's saying. I'm confused. Um, but yeah, Ed, this was awesome. Thank you for letting me do this for you. It was a lot of fun. Um, those letters were, that was fun. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Uh, Drew says, FYI, your print is not printing. It's heating up, Drew. <laughs> it's heating up, Drew. It's uh, uh, and the old tech guy says, "Wow, amazing!" <laughs> wow, we actually. Oh, 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 you know what I could do? I could probably put it in front of this camera and get a nice high res shot of it for him. No, well, no, no! Here comes the beauty, the art. Oh, the art! <laughs> Watching it start. <laughs> Baron says, "Forgot to send, send to the printer." 
<laughs> right? It's just sitting here. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, and Baron says your your logo looks good. Uh, funny thing, we had to move it back into the corner there. Mm. Matt had it set up really beautifully in front of his computer, and it looked like an overlay. Yeah, it like it, it yeah. did not look real. No. <laughs> uh, it looked like a, a watermark. <laughs> Kyle says, take that, Drew. <laughs> out of water. Dang it. Are you out of water? Seriously? I drank the whole thing already. It's okay. No, I'll, I'll just... I'll just wither away and dehydrate. It's okay. I'll be your intern one more time. Thank you. Thankless job. Whatever. All they get is a disembodied arm stick in. It's the only way they know that I'm real. Yeah. That I'm not just a uh, AI. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going. Whoo. All right, so uh, are we still on? Where, what camera are we? Are we on? on the printer. I'm on the printer? Okay. When we get back, I'll show some people on screen what, what we're doing here. It's so fun to watch. She's um, so nicely getting me more water. So we'll have an awkward moment of watching the printer go. Uh, and hopefully it's still in focus. I don't think the camera got moved, but uh, I was actually set up earlier than expected today. So I had everything ready to go like an hour and a half ago. It's weird. Normally it's like, well, I got five minutes, I gotta finish. Um, Cause all this gets, my cameras and lights and cords and stuff like that to get taken down. And I can't leave it all up. Our cats would knock it all over. Oops, and dryer. It's okay. I don't think they could hear it over the sound of the printer. Oh, are we gonna show off the sourdough? All right. Over so I can it. <laughs> Doing lines of, of yummy sourdough. Don't knock the camera over. No, no you deserve water now. <laughs> it's in focus in a very specific spot. This is this is her homemade. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll be in focus if I hold it up. No, well, I could change the camera. That's fair. Mmm. -hmm. Off topic sourdough. But I need it back so I can sniff it. It smells good. It does smell amazing. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> mm. You can you can bite it now. Go I can for it. I can just take a bite out of your loaf of bread. Sure. Ah. It's cooled off. You won't burn your tongue now. Mmm. That's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's super loud in the microphone. Let's see. Mm, yeah. Here, come get some. <laughs> get some. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most awkward dream ever. I'm just like crunchy sourdough delicious. It smells delicious. Oh, it's so good. I think it's your best loaf yet. Mm hmm. She's been on a sourdough making adventure. No, now it just smells like spit. Oh, whatever. Mm. Mm. Uh, That's going to make a good grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. You know it'd be really cool? Get a small Dutch oven and do small loaves and make soup bowls out of them. Like for like... I don't need a small Dutch oven, just take me forever to make them. But yeah, that'd be doable. Well, if you put it in the big Dutch oven, it's just going to flatten out, right? No. No? Oh, Not okay. if I do it right. Okay. <laughs> Ed says, I would eat that whole thing by myself. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I hope you're not gluten-free, because whoo! <laughs> and he asked, how are you resisting not biting and eating it? And Drew says, this is new. Ed says, I can smell the sourdough through the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Baron says, smell of vision needed. <laughs> We'll just, we'll send you all a smellogram. <laughs> Drew says we should send them to all of our viewers. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Baron asks, hmm, changed the purge line to the front and made it shorter, or is that an effect for camp for la from last week? That is an effect from camp from last week. That is the adaptive purge. Um, I'm using it for a while, see how I like it. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. Um, la last week when I was doing it, it seemed to be blobby, and this time, not no blobs at all. 
And I've done several test prints today, so I haven't had any issues with it. No blobs, no craziness, so pretty good. So. And uh, so if you're not familiar with this print, as it, as it goes up in, in height, every layer, it changes the pressure advance setting. So if you come over to the screen here, you could actually see that. What is that song? What? Sorry, it's 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 a song. Under pressure. It's a song. No, it's a song. I don't know. It's a song. I don't know. It's a right. song. So let's just go to a random layer right here. So layer ninety nine at nineteen point eight millimeters high. And then we'll drag mm. our tool head around to the very beginning of that layer and you'll see here, set pressure advance, advance 0 0.038. And every layer after that, it makes it more and more and more. So that one there, doo -doo -doo, 0 0.62. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at it and with our fancy Spanchy caliper tool, measure from the bottom up, um, at how high it looks the best. You'll see there's several corners that it makes. Um, and then find that height in here, say it's at, you know, 28 millimeters, 28, right there. We would set our pressure advance to 0.054, just for example. So there's no, you don't have to do any math. It's all done for you. Um, and it's the same, <laughs> she's over there bobbing her head and weaving. It's, it's a song, I just don't know the name of it. I don't know. The sound your, that your motors are making, it's a legit song, seriously. Well, if it, There's it, some harmonics in there. If any of the chat can hear it, let us know what song it is, I guess. I, I know it, I can hear it in my head, there's something other words to it. <laughs> it could be one of... Dun. Uh, no. you're, not, you're not a nerdy enough band nerd. No, no, not a band nerd. Um, so there's, there's instructions on the Clipper website to show exactly how to do this and how to do the math and what scripts you need to input. And it even gives you this STL, but it's built into Orca Slicer. And you don't even have to do the measure and do all the math because you could look at your G-code preview here. Um, and it tells you at what height and what it changes it to. So it's the easy way. Um, doing the tower. You could do the little pattern and look at it that way and it gives you numbers and it's a little bit more difficult to see though. It's faster. It's only a, like a six minute print. Um, so I find that's a good way to get like ballpark and then you could use this to really fine tune it. You could change your your settings as you when you first start it. So and Ed says the bread deserves a good German beef goulash. Oh, that sounds, sounds delicious. Good. Mm. Yeah. And Drew says the 3D printer truffle shuffle. <laughs> the 3D printer truffle shuffle. <laughs> and Rusty Shackleford just sends a bunch of salsa dancers. Salsa dancers. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, genuinely, like, for real. I don't know. I don't know. And I will say, uh, so most of the time you don't even have to let this finish, you'll just watch it and when you start to see it, the gaps just be too big, where under extrudes pretty heavily in the corners, you can stop the print there, there's no need to go further. Um, one, save some time and a little bit of filament. So we'll do that mainly for the sake of time. Because um, we only have an hour to get this done, so print it, measure it, check it, plug the number in, print a test cube and see how good it looks. Well, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing the stair thing, right? You're looking around and not not talking to the people. Ah, man. Ray says, before Quiet Motors, you could create a G-code that would play actual music. This is... Yeah. Okay, telling y'all how nerdy I used to be. I was in jazz band back in the day, a zero period in high school, and we started every single day. We started with this song. This song? This song. Like, it's bringing me back. Just don't know the name of it. <laughs> I don't know. You're weird. She's doing, she's weird today. Said, What'd you put in the bread? 
You're the one who took a big bite out You've of it. You've been you tell sniffing me. it. You've been downstairs. <sighs> I could hear her down there. It smells delicious. Leave me alone. It's doing lines of pure gluten. <laughs> That's it, DC. Yes. Hey, DC, by the way. DC's oh, here. What's up, DC? China Welcome. China Grove. That is it. Thank you. This is not China Grove. That's it. This yeah. is not China Grove. It's China Grove. No, it's it not. Is. It is. No, DC it's agrees not. with me. I don't agree. Uh, DC says, when the sun comes up on a sleepy little town, mm. town <laughs> around San Antonio, Antonio and folks are rising for another day around their homes. It's China mm. Grove. That's it. Wasn't that uh, the Doobie Brothers? I think so. Yeah. Great band. Uh, did we do we know the tracking on DC's uh, board? It should be there by now, I would think. Mm. Is Hopefully it not you'll there? be getting that soon. No, just asking. Oh. It has been a week. We told him it'd be a couple days. Oh, I sent it out quickly, but Baron says he can hear it. Do you hear China Grove, Baron? <sighs> We're going to let the people decide. Drew says he hears it now, too. Three to one. <laughs> it's not China Grove. DC says it's in the mailbox. Oh, perfect. It's China Grove. Whatever. Don't drop the magnet. There we go. <sighs> I'm just going to record this sound for you and play it nonstop. Baron agrees. Yes, China Grove. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Did not. it finally warm up down there in the south, Baron, D.C.? Did you guys finally get some warmer temperatures? I hope so. It should be warm. I mean, it's warmer here now. It's 60-something today. <laughs> Don't think they're going to consider that warm. I have a couple of people in uh, that I, I teach for work that live in South Carolina, and I guess it got up into the 80s. Like, they were down in the teens, and then it just, like, swung up into the 80s. It was hot and humid. Sounds like a good way to get some pretty extreme weather. Get real cold and then real warm and humid like that. That'll, that'll attract some... Drew says he's now playing China Grove in another window. Ed says, uh, we all hear it. It's a community hypnotism hour. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> he says he's bobbing his head to it now. I'll just zip tie my microphone to the printer. You'll get it through the frame. Oh, nice. 70 down in Texas, 56 in Louisiana, if I'm remembering right, Baron? Yeah. Louisiana? 56. I figured it'd be warmer there. Yeah. 70 seems a little cold for Texas, too. Well, it's about right. For this time. Well, depending on what part of Texas. That's fair. I mean, it's huge. It's the size of France. <laughs> Is that small? Yeah, don't let them know. <laughs> hey, Texas, Alaska is bigger. <laughs> and there's Rhode Island in the corner going, oh. You know Texas will just invade Oklahoma just for the fun of being able to prove you wrong. Oklahoma? They're going to be like, Oklahoma's ours now so that we can say we're bigger than Alaska. I think they would need more than that. Alaska's huge. <laughs> Wow, Baron says, spring, summer, fall, and winter all in one week. That's my normal. Yeah, that is the south, though. Wow. They get that. I don't know why, but for some reason I think south and I think just hot all the time, just warm, hot. Yeah. But then I've lived in the north my whole life, yeah. and I guess most people would consider it just cold all the time. Kind of, cold and wet. You get in the south, though, is you get, you get both sides of the jet stream. Sometimes yeah. it's up north, and you get all that warm weather from the Gulf, and then sometimes it dips down south, and you get all that cold weather from the north. <laughs> See, now you're dancing, too. Look at you. Always you're feeling dancing. it. You're starting to feel it. It's not China Grove. It's China Grove. No. <laughs> I do got to say, I, I, I really like this. is like the blue. This is the blue. I got to hand it to Creality with their filament. They make nice filament. I have to say, this is the first time I've seen the E in, in the old tech guy's logo. I've always thought it as a smiley face, and the few times I've watched his, <laughs> his um, what, like the colon and the yeah, D, yeah, you yeah. know? Like, it's the smiley face. 
<laughs> so I had a guy at work's like, what's up with the AND gate? <laughs> I'm like, AND gate? I'm like, oh, yeah. I kind of see that, yeah. I like it, though. It's clever. <laughs> okay. I said, I saw a smiley face. Yeah. Every time I've seen it, he's always smiling and happy, and I just assumed it was a clever, you know. I think it's just kind of like a, a mix, you know, a little bit of emoji, yeah. Ed's name. It kind of works out. Yeah, it's very clever. I it like it, It is nice. Ed. I like it. It's a good logo. Drew says, Emily, the North? You're not in the North. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ed Stark. You know what, Drew? I'm going to bring Santa into this conversation. We'll talk about who's really in the North. Oh. <laughs> um, Ray says, yeah, we've been anywhere from 19 to 70 this month in North Carolina. For some reason, I feel like Ray was... North Carolina? For some reason, Ray, I thought you were further north than that. Like, I thought Ray was in New York. No, that's... Who was in New York? Wow, we're failing at this right now. No, Ray, you usually go to New York, right? Okay. Like, you spend a lot of time in New York, but you're not from New York. But for some reason, I thought that area. Well, North Carolina gets a good mix of weather. Yeah. So, especially if you get away from the ocean, get away from Charlotte. Yeah, a lot of my coworkers are from uh, Cary, so there's a lot of a lot of crazy weather they get. It's fun to hear about how, Charlotte, is that how different it is Something over there like than that. it is over here. Baron says, electric plug, just missing the cord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see that. Okay. Oh, yeah, it does look like a plug. No, I hadn't seen that before, but now I do. Yeah. Now I can't be unseen. Yeah, right. Ed, your logo is a, is a, it's a diverse logo. It's a mix of Speaking everything. Speaking of hypnotism, the right. music plus the board, like we just... <laughs> can I say hypnotoad on live TV? Hypnotoad. Of course you can. Oh, here we go. It's subtle, but you can see it. It says, my logo is an E, a smiley face, a power plug, and so much more. And so much more. <laughs> I like it, Ed. Uh, Ray says, from Nova Scotia to North Carolina. Holy Oof. cow. That's a journey. Drew says they're 41 today. He also saw the electric plug. <laughs> <laughs> now, are we talking 41 Celsius or are we talking 41 Fahrenheit, Drew? I can never mm. tell. Huge difference. Like. Did you end up sending Drew that, that Instagram about Canadian? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Canadian measurements. Anything Canadian I send him, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Baron says, yes. <laughs> Futurama was a great show. Great it is show. a great show. We, we, we've only yeah, watched like the first the two time. episodes. Right. We need to get back on that. We do. I was really glad they revamped it and they didn't change it. Yeah. We were talking about it the other day, though. It was kind of like, because a lot of those that are being revamped are like Family Guys. Some of those shows have changed so much with current culture. Well, I think they're changing writers. We're... we're Futurama mm. kept the same writers. Well, you got to change for, for culture, right? Like, like old school family guy just wouldn't hit right in current yeah, political environment. Yeah, you got to stay with the pop right? culture, right? Well, like but South Futurama, Park, is different. Futurama didn't have to, because we were talking about it the other day. Yeah. They were they were kind of like, I don't know, maybe he saw it coming, because, you know, he know, he sees everything coming with The Simpsons, got some sort of view into the future. <laughs> but you had a strong female lead. You've got the rich, money-grubbing white guy. You've got, <laughs> you've got the incompetent doctor. <laughs> you just, he hit everything right on, like, it's 2024 perfection. Pretty much. We just didn't know it back then. We just no. thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're, get, we're, we're coming off the rails now. We're starting to uh, be a little too far. So are you, which camera are you on? Uh, Me. So go to go to this camera and the, and the people will see. You want me to go see. back to China Grove? Yeah, China Grove. Yeah, sure. So if you're watching it, when it hits the corners, it's actually starting to retract a little bit. That gear goes backwards just a little bit. And right now it's a little too much. You can see the top of that where there's a, a large gap in that corner. So at this point, you can stop the print. So we're going to do that. Drew says he thinks he sent us the 41 in Canadian measurements. Oh, boy. That's hot then. Um, Ray says, yeah, yeah, if it was 41 degrees Celsius, then Drew might melt. <laughs> yeah, that's toasty warm. Ah, all right. 
Uh, and Drew says, Let's good news, it. everybody. Good news. <laughs> I can do a mean Zoidberg. <laughs> right. Okay, so it'll be kind of hard to tell. I'll turn it a little bit. But you should see along the edge of the uh, the corner there where the edge kind of it's it sticks out on the bottom, gets kind of even north toward the middle, and then on the top there's that gap that's starting to form. Can you see that? If you get your fingers out of it. Whatever. All right, and even more apparent on that one. Oh, oh, sorry, I did misread that, Drew. Drew says he thinks he sent you the Canadian measurements one. Sorry, I sent it to him too. That's funny, we must have both sent it to you. Maybe. I don't know, there's the Canadian driving one too. <laughs> how to save gas in Canada, just put on your seatbelt and hold on. <laughs> Why are gas prices so, yeah. how do people, yeah. Yeah, so, can, can you see that? Is it visible? Mm -hmm. We can see it. Okay. So, you well, will now visually, we can't see it. now we can't, get a scale, ruler, caliper, whatever, whatever you feel is, is right. And it's good to have a, a good amount of glaring light. Actually, shinier material is the best to do this with. The blue is probably not the best, um, but I could see here. 41 Fahrenheit isn't too bad, Drew. No. That's not bad no. at all. It's balmy. So, and just kind of visually... Look at all your corners, and then you have a seam in the back here that builds. Figure out, figure you know which one looks the best. Ray says, "Oh wow, that's a big difference, Matt." Yeah. So, it's kind of it's a little subjective, obviously. But we will measure to where it seems to be the best. About there, I'd say. So at 18.8 millimeters. So back to our G code, go to 18.8 on here. Drew says it's all because of the ice. They're having a very strange winter. It's very warm. Interesting, but it was cold a little while ago. All right, 18.8, set pressure advance, mm. zero point, oh yeah. Sorry. All right. I'll drag this down to 18.8 millimeters. Shows you we're at 18.8. Set pressure advance equals 0 0.036. So we will go to our filament setting here. Pressure advance 0 0.036. And I save this Creality HP PLA at Sidewinder X2. Um, one thing that is annoying about Orca Slicer is that it doesn't separate your filaments or your print settings. So if I go under here for filament, it shows me filaments for other printers that I've set up. And I don't like that because maybe it is different on the Hornet than on the X2. Maybe there's subtle differences. Um, and I, don't, I, I wish that it would be like, oh, this isn't meant for this machine. Don't have it on the list. Because this is just going to get populated as, as I get more and more filaments tuned for this. It's going to get hard to see. But we have set that up. We're going to do a new job here. New project, no, don't save, discard that. We're going to add a... Baron says, I think I need to adjust my PA based on my last print without changing it. Adjust it without changing it? I mean, you just, in your um, main sale, you could adjust it on the fly. Sorry, hang on, Drew's yelling at you. Uh-oh. He says, you can have separate filaments. Right? I just found it. Huh? He says, you can have separate filaments. Where? He just found it. Does it like tell you, is there a setting to say remove filaments from other printers? Click on your filament at the very bottom. There is a add filament. Okay. <laughs> I will look at that. All right. Um, so. Rusty says, I see it. Convex on the bottom, concave on the top. Yep. About your... Yep. And then yeah, we're there, we're saved, we're good. Slice, print, upload and print. Go. Peel this off. Boy, this texture plate is nice. My greasy fingerprints all over it, it'll be okay. Uh, so under filaments, oh. add, remove filaments. Hmm. It's thinking, maybe. Did I just break it? Uh-oh. 
Oh, I've never seen this before. It's almost always a way to organize stuff like that. Oh, this is cool. I'll have to mess with this. Because typically I'll just start with a basic one, make changes, and then save it as something new and it shows it, cancel, under user presets. Ah, I see. I'll have to mess with that later. Thank you for showing me that. I didn't know that was a thing because I was getting a little frustrated. Like, come on, separate them for me. So, see? There's always a way, I guess. See? You help him out, he helps you out. Yeah. I will say they make it difficult. No, that's actually not that bad. I wonder, here. Custom, create new. Oh, it actually gives you all the different vendors. Reality, select type, PLA, do they have PLA Ultra? Andrew says, I was just found it the other day. I was having the same issues you were having. Serial number. Create based on current. Oh, cool. Create based on current filament. Copy current filament. You got 15 minutes, by the way. It's, it's going to print, and I'll show the people. Is it going to print? We could create the filament presets for you following, for your following pre- Filament serial is not inputted. Please input serial. What? What? I, filament doesn't have serial numbers, does it? Everything has serial numbers. Huh. Even serial does. I'll just call it Creality. For now, create. You have not selected a printer pre create based on current filament. Uh, ah. Drew says, this way you have the same filament, but different settings for different nozzles. Yeah. Okay. Chillery. Ooh, fancy. Uh, Drew says, just put in basic silk mat, etc. Head says, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'll mess, with that, I'll mess with that your, later. Laughing at your pain. Yeah. It's my life is pain. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Ed says your wife's commentary is priceless. It's the only I, you know reason what? why you people show up. I'll be honest, Ed. I really appreciate that. Mm. Somebody was telling Matt the other day that he was being a good sport. <laughs> Won't name any names. <laughs> Somebody from the North. Um, wow. <laughs> and uh, I was getting a little bit wow. self-conscious. And then, and then hearing that from you, Ed, makes me feel better. So I appreciate that. I really do. Um, Baron says, uh, serial numbers on bamboo filament as well as RFID tags. Ah, uh, okay, the bamboo mm -hmm. filament. So just make it up for whatever. That makes sense. Um, Drew said, oh, read that one already. Baron asked, had anyone upgraded to Orca 1.8 yet? If so, did you lose your old settings? I'm on 1.9 and all my settings stuck. So... Hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, Orca shouldn't delete your settings because it saves it saves all that stuff in a different folder. So that and that folder doesn't get overwritten when you upgrade it. Are we missing Ricardo today? That's who we're missing. Oh no. That's okay. Oh, and I told you Dakota's here says hi, right? Ah, that was earlier. Sorry. You haven't told me. That was why Welcome. I was trying to find my card. Oh. Thank you all. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, especially from those of you from overseas, from, man, some of you like. Oh, man. I know we got Dakota, you're in Poland, if I remember right. That's just, that's awesome. Thank you so much for, for spending sure. your afternoons, your nights, your early morning hours being willing to tune in with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, that's a, time is precious and to spend an hour with us is, um, it means a lot to us. To get up early or to stay up late to yeah. do that too? Yeah. So. To watch this disaster? <laughs> and believe it or not, we try to put on a quality show here. <laughs> you can't even say that with a straight face. No. I'm not lying though. It's not that I'm lying. It's that we do legitimately try, but it's it's hard. <laughs> Oops. It's hard, okay? Come on. Come on. There it goes. Trouble. If I push too many buttons at once, that's when it, it gets angry. It gets mad. Figure you gotta yeah, slow down your... Yeah. Oh, and Ray says, don't forget to tap that thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ray. 
Thank you, Ray. Drew says, the cereal is really just for you. I put in silk, basic, etc. I think cereal is tied to Bamboo Lab Slicer somehow, which makes sense if... Um, well, their, their schools have RFIDs um, in them. If they have RFIDs yeah. and all that. Yeah, makes sense. So, makes it easy, you know, just, hey, pick this slot in the AMS and it already knows what to do if it's got the RFID. Uh, Baron says, read some stuff that, read some, hmm, read somewhere on Reddit that, mm -hmm, mm, nope, I can read, I can read, you read, I, I can't read. You read, 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 read it? Oof. <laughs> read, read it, read, read it, like read it, read over. Stuff from our HOA stuff all over again. Oh man. Um, <laughs> the northwest, southeast, north, seven, south. The northeast corner of the southeast corner of the left southeast Dude. corner of the. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so Baron says, read some Reddit stuff. Got through that one this time. All right. That you lost the settings. Uh, thanks for the confirmation that you don't. So right. you're going to be blamed if he loses his right. settings, by the way. Okay. If you do lose your settings, not my fault. I didn't lose mine. Always back up your stuff before upgrading your software. Mm, no, too late. No, I'm kidding. He didn't say that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Baron says, especially with the comments with the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> we love the yeah. peanut gallery. You all make this so fun. Yeah. We really enjoy hanging out with y'all on Mondays. I don't... It makes a good Monday. We definitely, we definitely feel empty the Mondays where we don't get to spend our time with y'all. Yeah, we're going to try to keep this going as long as we can. We just need topics. Once we're done with this printer, we're going to be out of topics. So I depend on you guys, or we, we will be depending on you guys for more topics for live streams. Um, also, I found out with the, the, speaking of topics, with the Discord thing, when you create a link to your Discord channel, it's only active for five days and you have to change the link. So that's why my Discord link didn't work. So I took it off of this stream. So I think you can just search for me at Ethereal Project 3D. I think Baron said he was good at Discord. So if you are Baron, if, yeah. if that was you, if you wouldn't mind reaching out. Yeah, help us out. Um, Cause there, I have a Discord and you could set up different, you could set it up like a forum, right? So, and that's another thing. The forums, it's a good tool, but it's really hard because Wix, the, the website host that I use is terrible with notifications. And so mm -hmm. you might, you got, I might get a post on a forum and I won't see it for several days. Um, and it, a lot of the posts have to be approved by me for whatever reason. I don't know how to fix that. And so it's days after it's posted till I see that it's been posted. So it's really hard to keep up on the forums. Discord, on the other hand, is actually really good. I get notifications um, and there's no issue with it. So I think we're going to be nixing the forum on the website and switching that sort of thing over to Discord. It'll be a lot easier to follow and a lot easier to be able to respond to people. So um, for those of you who are on the forum, we apologize. It was, a, it was an idea that just didn't work out. And I think Discord's gonna be a better avenue for that. Seven minutes? Seven minutes. Well, this has got, I don't know, five minutes left. So we have enough time to finish and show off how good my measurement was. Drew, uh, Baron says, wait till you do inheritance percentages. Inheritance percentages? I don't know. I figured it was some sort of 3D printing thing. I don't know. Uh, Drew had mentioned to Bear that he hasn't lost anything yet either. Okay. We got some suggestions rolling in, which is awesome. Please keep them rolling in. Yes, Drew suggests down. SolidWorks. And I assume I am choosing to believe that he's yelling at you with this and that it's not actually like basics is in caps. He's like SolidWorks basics. <laughs> okay, we can do that. I'll have to come up with some sort of a curriculum for that because there's, there's so much to SolidWorks. And you know now it is a very, very, very busy program. Uh, you could do quite a bit with it, so it could be very overwhelming at first. We may have to revisit the um, how-to idea. We we were thinking about it. Like how to 3D print? We were thinking about it this summer about having a, um, like a beginner's guide. Um, because one thing I love about you is you have all the knowledge in the world. You're a very smart person. Thank you. Uh, but you suck at teaching. I'm terrible at teaching. <laughs> So the idea was to have him have to dumb things down enough for me to understand it <laughs> and then for me to be able to struggle through it. And right. hopefully that would help somebody who 
is is kind of more at the beginner level understand and feel less self-conscious about having to struggle through it themselves. Yeah. When we were going to like, you know, how to shop for a 3D printer, buying your first sure. 3D printer, or assembling your first 3D printer. And then printer. somebody decided to spend all this money on making a 3D printer. Just saying. I didn't decide to spend all the money. Oh, okay. I just tell you okay. what I need. Sure. And then you, you, sure. you're the one who orders the parts. Speaking of which, the first couple of parts for the 3D printer will be showing up tomorrow. Ah. Um, Ray says, Ray says, I'm waiting on a filament sample from a new filament maker called... I'm assuming that's oh yeah, all A H is in caps, and oh, all I yeah. can think is, hey Nelson, can I get a oh yeah? <laughs> that was so good. Oh yeah, that's uh, great. But that's awesome. Let us know how that goes, yeah. right? Yeah, that'd be Ed nice. Says, I would love to get a filament sponsor. That'd be awesome. Ed says, perfect topic. What tools make sense to 3D print, and why? And ah, how would you do it? He ah. saw a guy 3D print a ratchet. Ratchet. Oh, I could see. So I could see some 3D printed tools be good for electrical work, right? Um, yeah, that's a good topic. I mean, There's what is that? It's a five mil. It's always going missing. Ten mil. Ten, Ten mil, mil sockets. Ten mil sockets. Yeah, right. Why not? 3D print them, and you can have an endless supply. Yeah. I mean, you're not putting that much torque on a ten mil. You could probably 3D print out an ABS or something. It'd be good for emergency situations. Sure. So. I'll do a wrench. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. 3D print a bunch of tools and like build something with nothing but 3D <laughs> printed tools. Baron says priceless delivery, Emily. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, Baron says there should be a permalink, capa permalink capability. There is a permalink on Artillery Discord that I'm on. So maybe the two of you can get together if you can't find it and he can help you out. Yeah, help me out. If, if, yeah, if you know Discord, help me out with that. Because it, it looks like a really solid tool for communication. And I think that'd be the best way to be able to get in contact with me. Because sometimes even Facebook and Instagram can be spotty as far as um, getting, getting to me. Sometimes I don't get those notifications right away. Or they get hidden. It's like a, a message request. And I got to actually go through and manually look for message requests and sometimes I don't do that. Um, where Discord, if someone messages me on Discord, it shows up immediately. Oh, Ed. Genius. Oh, what's he got for I it? gotta go to Ikea to get a couple of storage things for the kiddo. Ed says 3D print tools to build. I'm assuming you mean um, Ikea. It says ideas, but I wonder if that might have been a typo for Ikea because that would be smart too. Ikea tools? Mm. I don't think you're three printing an Allen wrench. Why not? It twist. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Drew says so. Everyone, I bought the Maker version of SolidWorks. It's ah. only sixty Canadian for the year. Well, yep, the price has gone down on the Maker's version. Uh, I'm trying to get through all these comments before I have to run. Baron says, as in Willis and Trutt's percent example, two, one half of a sixteenth of a quarter of ownership of a parcel of land. Oh, wills and trust. Yeah. Um, we were reading through our parcel things the... for HOA, and it was literally almost a half a page of the southeast corner of the northeast lot of the southeast portion of the it... western two-thirds of the... It was crazy. Christopher <laughs> was crazy. Columbus couldn't <laughs> navigate that map. It was bad. Um, and mainly we're just getting more familiar with our bylaws and CCNRs and all that kind of stuff for our homeowners association. So um, just to know more. Uh, Drew is asking if anyone's tried Canadian filaments yet. He's just wondering, we need to get on there and we order some. We do need to get some, yeah. Remind Give it a us. try. Uh, I had the idea of will it print segments, you know, just try get together, filaments. print some stuff with some new filaments, see how it works and chat. Because yeah. we're getting better at that. We are getting better at that. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying okay. to be less technical and more personable. Uh -oh. It's time. Let's see. It's I'm not through done. yet. Drew says, idea of SolidWorks. We can make a 3D model of the Sidewinder X2. That'd be fun. Yeah. I think there is There's an X1 model out there. We, we could do a Sidewinder X2, though. Uh, most of us have a Sidewinder S2 or at the very least a 3D printer. Wow. Um, Baron says, just on Discord, a bunch don't really know the system. Mm. 
Yeah, I love it, Ed. I think that'd be fun to 3D print some stuff to make IKEA furniture. At the very yeah. least, it falls apart, and it was a fun idea and a fun video, right? Let's do it. We'll have to get some IKEA it's furniture. It's a great idea, it. Ed. Uh, oh, and Drew on. says, HOA reading. My wife is a land surveyor. Your HOA would make her die inside. <laughs> Dude, our oh, HOA would make anyone die inside. They are, they've lost the plot, man. <sighs> so. Unfortunately, they haven't lost the plot. That's why we're still dealing with them. That's fair. Oh, Ed, you are awesome. Ed did a super chat Thank for us. You, $5. Ed. Ed, Thank you, Ed. Ed, you definitely so didn't Ed. have to do that. We appreciate you, though. So much. My goodness. Okay, I have to run. Um, if you get a chance, if you're able to, please click that link for the GoFundMe. Just yeah. check it out. If you're able to help, if you're able to leave anything, if you have, if you're, if you're able to, of course, we, we've all been there. Finally. Uh, well, we've all been there. We're all, we're all kind of struggling in this economy a little bit, but if you're able to um, just help that family a little bit, we'd be, we'd be grateful and we'd love to, love to see it. Right. Ooh, that filament has gotten moist, but... That is the fruits of our labor. Can you can we see it? There, no, because I can't. There we go. What? There we go. Bring it this way a little. Which way? Towards the camera. That's probably out of focus there. That's a little better actually, I think. Uh oh. So you can see the corners are nice and kind of sharp. They're not bulging. So. <laughs> The parent says, don't run, take the car. <laughs> I'll show myself out now. <laughs> oh, God. That is, that's how we end today. That's wow. it. We're all done. Right. Yep. That's we, perfection. That's, that's, that's a good way to end Can't it. Can't get better than that. Yeah. So hopefully you all can see that, that it's, uh, I don't have a pre, I should have done a before print. That's okay. I've switched over to you. We got to get, I, okay. I got to, yeah. I have to run. Yes. And I got to start tearing this, tearing this all down after I put it all together. Wah, wah. So, well, thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you, Ed, the old tech guy for the super chat. We super appreciate it. Thank you everyone for your uh, live stream ideas. Uh, we will take notes and start working on those. Last minute drop by Christian. We don't know if we've seen Christian before in the chat. Thank you for Christian. joining us. Thank you. Says, hi, on Discord, you can edit invite link so that it never expires. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, message me on Discord and tell me how to do that. Please. <laughs> Please, and yes. thank you. And thank you. Um, but we're, uh, we have to sign off. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, <laughs> what? So long, so long, and thanks for all the fish. Yes. So <laughs> great movie. Such a good movie. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thanks again for joining. We got to go. Happy 3D printing. We'll see you all later. Bye.